Although we traditionally referred to our five players as guards, forwards, and a center, the modern numerical designation for offensive players works well for our DVD presentation. This is the basic high post alignment with the guards crossing half court in tandem, the forwards are on the wings that the foul line extended, and the center is on the low block ready to move to the high post. The offense is set in motion from there, preferably with a pass from one guard to the other. Let's now look at the many plays and options in the high post attack. The main play of the guard to guard to high post play is for the center to look for reverse first on one side and the other and then look for the guard who looks inside. Now the center's first look is for the forward on the side from which he received the ball from here so he looks at this forward right for that block. His second look is for the forward over here. All right, now the guards can do just what they've done here, break in and come back, although they got too close to the post when they made that move. The guards must be careful. They don't get too tight in there. It just makes too much commotion there. One, two, three, four, five, six. They pick their man, swing away. And he can look for them, cut away, screen, I like the way the center went down with his hand up. And when the center goes down right here, he should be looking at the man who has the ball, calling for the ball. And what he's going to do, if he doesn't get it, he's going to set a back screen right over here. This man should make him come around the back screen. He knows where it's going to be set, over here. Several things can happen when the ball goes into the post. This is the guard to guard to center play. Guards flare, we hit one side, look in the post and the guard repositions himself, gets a pass back and scores. His first look should be for this man, as I pointed out, right there. Had he received the pass from this guard, he'd be looking for the man here. Then he turns, fakes down, turns, faces. And now, there, there are times when the guard on the post, as he receives it, may be reaching over. If he reaches over on this side, drop your left foot back, cut him off. You take one, never over two dribbles, and take the little shot from right in there. You can't go in farther because of these men that are going to be back in there. So don't expect to get a layup. But if your man overplays you on one side, you turn straight and angle, right? So don't go this way. Go straight there. You're going to get an easy shot. And we got tremendous rebounding when you have it. You'll be there for the front. you got two men on the side, and you'll have one guard coming in. guard to guard to center play when the forwards reverse sometimes they may cross underneath and create another scoring opportunity now you'll notice here this bit the forwards are crossing and uh, uh, sometimes uh, one of the forwards on the screen possible here might get open, if he does, he can turn right back in, whichever side he might be, and get the short hook, and you've got an easy basket. If not, they can do just as they did then.
as in any play, players have options to do things based on what the defense does. Here, instead of the guards flaring, they cross. Watch number two on the cut here. All right, he hesitates, which is good. Now, he goes right there. He shouldn't have had the pass back there. He's handed to him. Look where it is, all this area he has right in here. He's going to get a high, very high percentage shot immediately. With good rebounding and everything. Yeah. Now, another thing that we have mentioned, um, they're accustomed to what we've been doing all the time is crossing or flaring and coming back. The defense may, you know, got the habit of knowing that they're going to come back. So suddenly you just flash on down through and, and screen for one of the deep men in there because he might get a real easy one coming off of you. In the guard to guard, the high post pass. The guards have several options. Here we're going to see them cross and then cut straight down the middle looking for the pass, head for the block where they're going to set a screen for the forward. Now on this you'll notice that both guards crossed and then went down to screen. Now the center passed into the forward coming off on the right. And that was good. Now that can happen uh, by the guards uh, faking the cross and going down or just making the quick uh, cut straight down or sometimes only one guard cuts down, which is all right. They've got to learn to read which is best for them. guard to guard the center pass. When the guards cut down the middle, they can also receive a screen from the forwards and come out for the jump shot. Well, you notice there, when the ball went out here, the center immediately screened down on the opposite side, left this man on a low block here for him, and the center going down with a hand high, he might have got a high one, and then, but he's got the screen for this other man coming around. Options you have. The main play for the guard to guard to forward outside cut is to get the weak side forward, who's a good shooter, an outside shot as he comes to the strong side. Actually, uh, you might say I stole this in the sense from uh, Adolf up in Kentucky. They had used something very similar. We've made a few changes, but similar. The guard goes to forward, goes outside. Now he's going to go down and hold it right here. He's going to set a screen right down there behind the players we see now. Now this guard that's out here should be over here a little more. He should have faked down and got the ball here. Now the forward that was over here is faking back. He comes across and right in there. We expect him to get a shot. 
Uh, remember, this was when we didn't have the three-point shot. And with the three-point shot, we probably would have, uh, could have uh, angled the two, uh, the center and the guard here, and have the men come out more this way, as this ex shows the air getting for the three-point shot. Best example, 1962, in our semifinal game in the National Championship, University of Cincinnati, we got well behind, and we ran this play several times and scored several baskets. Gary Cunningham was a good jump shooter forward, and Pete Blackman, the other forward, a pretty good jump shooter. And we set that, uh, set that up for both of them, along with another uh, uh, set to get them jump shots. Now, there'd be other uh, areas when using the high post offense. Uh, for example, when I had uh, forwards like uh, Curtis Rowe and uh, Sidney Wicks, entirely different from Cunningham and Blackman, we used something different more because it was more adaptable to their particular strengths.